Hi guys, welcome back to the barn. I've not been filming much in here for the last couple of weeks because I've started to build the third and final wall. So far I've studded some of the wall out, I've insulated it and I've boarded the part behind the bench. And during that time I've had my second workbench outside in the sunshine. And whilst the workshop has been out of action, it's provided an excellent opportunity to try out this little Laser Pekka 2 laser engraver on the dining table in the terrace. In this video I will show you the setup, some engravings on wood and tell you my thoughts, good and bad, and some interesting finds. Due to the unit's small size, this could be the perfect laser for a very small workshop. The unit was delivered well packaged, both for protection and presentation. There are minimal parts and minimal setup required. The fixings are different shapes, so there really is only one way to put the thing together. As well as a cool pair of glasses, the main components for the laser are the base plate, the stand which houses the up and down buttons, the laser head with some controls. All these controls are also controllable via the app. The hood is detachable with an extraction fan in the rear. It could be argued that the fan is too efficient as it extracts the hot gases towards the fan leaving sooty streaks. Because I was mostly using it outside, at times I elected not to run the fan. Inside you would certainly need to use it near a window or even better connect it to an external extraction hose. One thing I really like about the Laser Pecker offering is the bespoke design software, and it's free. A lot of lasers require software such as Lightburn, which you have to pay for. The software is available for all major platforms, Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. As well as being an intuitive design software, the app also features the community forum and the instructions. So, if you are thinking of purchasing a Laser Pecker, it is worth uploading the app first and browsing through the information within. Unboxing, setup, installation of the software and creating the first design and making the first engraving was all done in under 20 minutes. There are three things that need to be considered to start the engraving. The laser power level, the speed of laser and the number of passes. Settings recommendations can be found in the app or the forums, but it's also worth just spending some time with some scrap material and playing with the settings. The laser also needs to be focused 110mm away from the material. This can be done in one of three ways. There is a supplied ruler, there is a pull down arm, or the extraction hood is exactly the right depth. And before you finally press engrave, you can select the quality of the engraving right up to 2K resolution. The first pattern I engraved was straight from the library of the app. And the reason I chose this design was for the level of detail contained in its pattern. I thought it was an excellent test and the laser pecker didn't disappoint. It was a very detailed engrave. One thing I can guarantee when you get a laser engraver is your family and friends will find you projects. My family own a cycling holiday business in France, La Mamotte Cycling Holidays, and they wanted some plaques to denote the room doors for their guest rooms. Now I can't complain they found me a free bed for a couple of nights in peak season when the Tour de France came to town a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Thank you. 
The engraving of the Laser Pecker 2 is excellent, but it is not really made for cutting and it does not have the capacity to cut like the 40 watt laser I also own. If you are cutting 3mm plywood like this, then it is absolutely fine. If your project requires a deeper cut, then maybe explore the Laser Pecker 3, 4 or even the new 5. These have a lot more power than this 5 watt laser. On the day I unboxed the video, I made a short form YouTube and Instagram Reel video. My friend Bill from Iterate Woodcraft saw the video and we exchanged some messages regarding the laser. Bill is contemplating buying a laser to embellish his woodworking. By the way of demonstrating the product, I screenshotted his emblem from Instagram, cleaned it up in Canva, the software I used to create thumbnails for this channel, and engraved it onto the corner of a small charcuterie board. I made a while ago. This is the type of engraving I envisage woodworkers using the most to enhance and personalise their creation, especially for sale. The next time I have Cognac and Conte I will now think of Bill and if you are on Instagram pop over to Itri Woodcraft and say hello. Cheers Bill. The Laser Pecker 2 has an engraving area of 100 by 100 millimetres or just over 4 by 4 inches. To create images larger than this there is an accessory which either moves material under the laser in slab mode or moves the laser over the material in trolley mode. Either way this is a cool feature and means you can create larger engravings up to 2 meters long in the trolley mode which is why the laser is, in my opinion, perfect for a small workshop. In trolley mode I did run into a bizarre issue though. My engravings turned out backwards and I couldn't figure out why. And after a brief discussion with Laser Pecker Technical and me providing some files, it was established that the iPad iOS version contained a bug. I can confirm that the technical services of Laser Pecker were fantastic and they said they would fix the bug in 3 to 4 days. The bug is in version 5.4.5, .5, so maybe a little bit of small barn workshop research on my dining table has changed the world in a very, very small way. The Android version of the app is fine and engravings run perfectly, although there are more features in the design part of the iOS app. I did find that some engravings in trolley mode ran out of line. In fact, Laser Pecker's own video showed a guy holding a piece of wood for the laser to run down. Be aware though that these engraving videos are speeded up and the bienvenue sign took 22 minutes to engrave, so it's a long time holding a piece of wood. It is though very easy to make a jig to guide your laser down. The last cool feature I want to show you is called graffiti mode and lets you engrave something you have unwritten. I think this would be great to create wooden gift tags. I also use graffiti mode to engrave this image on the wall, or actually a piece of scrap fixed to the wall. I have seen videos of people engraving their cars in this mode. If you have made it to this point in the video, firstly thank you and secondly I guess you are interested in this laser. I therefore urge you to go to Laser Pecker's site and watch more videos on engraving other materials rather than just wood and it provides me an opportunity to end this video here as it's 37 degrees in the workshop, I'm hot and I'm narrating this video in my pants.